We are going to look at the Rapido staff experience as a borrower. So here we are in Alma, and a key thing here is that Rapido has been built to work on top of Alma. So I don't have to do any sort of extra uh, setup configuration. It all happens within Alma. The setup for uh, Rapido is relatively straightforward and easy. And if I want to look at our Rapido requests up here at the top right, I'm going to choose this resource sharing requests task list. And these are the Rapido requests. And here we can see we have a tab for borrowing and a tab for lending. And let's look at the borrowing first. And what I want to point out here is that the way that Rapido works is that you have requests and they are grouped into what we call sets. And each set is related to a specific uh, category of requests or related to around a certain uh, process that you might have for managing those requests. So we can see here that we have various sets related to our resource sharing uh, processing. For instance, we have a set for awaiting request mediation. I'm gonna go ahead and choose all active bar requests so we can get a sense of what the requests look like in our Rapido environment. So here's just a list of all of our active requests. And if I scroll down, I could see a couple of things. I could see that we have here a couple requests that are have labels associated with them. So we have a request here that has a label of missing info. We have a request here that has a label of patron notes. So the labels are another way of using Rapido to identify requests that meet certain parameters. So for instance, a request that came through that has a patron note that you might want to review. On the left here, we have various ways to facet our, uh, our results. And so for example, maybe I want to look at all of the Rapido requests that are being processed by the Alma ILL partner, a specific library that we work with in Rapido. So I'm gonna choose this um, in our facets. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now our results are limited to this specific lending library. And this could be helpful for me and it might be something that I want to have quick access to. So at the top right, I could choose to save this as a new set. And if I click that, I could create a new set. I can name it whatever I want. I could choose whether it's a private set, which means that this set is only available to me or I could choose to set it as no for a private set, and that way it would be available to anyone on my team who might need access to this particular set. So the Rapido environment is really meant from a user uh, staff perspective to provide you with very quick access to those uh, processes and workflows that you need to have available um, very quickly. I wanna walk through a couple of ways to customize uh, Rapido. One is to choose this Manage Sets option here at the top right. And there are a number of sets that come out of the box. You can see here we have sets related to borrowing and we have sets that are related to lending. So I could choose on a per user level which of these sets we want, want to have access to and which of the sets, sets really make sense for us to have available very quickly through um, this interface here. So there are sets that come you know, out of the box again, and the sets that you can create so you have a very um, nice customizable interface to manage your Rapido requests. I also want to very quickly review some of the settings for Rapido. So for example, if I open up our resource sharing member and I go to this physical items lending policies tab, this is where we could very quickly define our collections that we have available for other Rapido partners. And I could go in and very easily make a change to these collections. If I go under barring policies, this is where I could go in and customize the pods. So in Rapido, you work with a variety of pods and each pod has a specific uh, terms of use a specific uh, loan period and expectation for delivery. And so you join these pods and in these settings, you're able to identify these pods and also prioritize them. Which pods would you like to have your requests go to first, for example? And here in our demo environment, we just have the one pod that we are working with. 
but most Rapido libraries would have multiple pods that they work with to share material. I also want to just quickly show the ability to adjust copyright request management. Out of the box, we have a simple rule of five for managing your borrow requests as they come in from your users. So if we go in and edit, we could see here the settings. So these could be adjusted as needed. Um, we have the typical rule of five county guidelines uh, set up here. But if you want to make adjustments to this, you can. You could also very quickly adjust whether you want to have these requests as they come in automatically approved and sent out to other libraries through Rapido or RapidLL, or you could choose to block the digitization workflow. So instead, you might want to choose to manage those requests as you come in to review them for copyright before sending them out to another resource sharing system or to a Rapido partner. Finally, we have borrowing mediation rules, and these rules are how you could monitor and manage incoming requests from your users, and this provides you with a way to catch requests as they come in and review them from a staff workflow perspective. So, for example, we have a missing ISSN mediation rule that allows us to catch requests as they come in that are missing ISSNs, and this way we're able to review those requests, and you might have a specific staff person who's reviewing uh, requests that have come through with the missing ISN label, and they're able to manage those requests, process them, and then uh, fix them and send them out. So another key you know, component of Rapido is the ability to very quickly adjust your settings, adjust your customizations, adjust your workflow, and to be able to do that on a per user basis in regards to the sets that you work with. Thank <laughs> you.